We also offer training and networking to adventurers, Jasmine added. Tilting her head in confusion, Claire asked, Networking? What do you mean? Pointing at the paper in Claire's hand, Jasmine explained, If this job were to need multiple adventurers in order to be successfully completed, we keep a database of adventurers who are looking for people to party up with. Though adventurers are free to form parties on their own, one of the main benefits of having the guild perform this service is the added comfort that the person you're partying up with is in good standing with the guild. It took a second for Claire to make the connection which Jasmine noticed. Yes, it sometimes happens where the person you're partying up with has insidious intentions. Though we try and catch people who are working with third parties, like human traffickers and various illicit businesses, and have the intention of putting adventurers in harm's way. Until the person acts out, we won't be able to find out in time. Jasmine grimaced. Remembering what Jasmine had said about having people that investigate false claims, Claire asked, But I thought you had people who investigate matters that may harm adventurers and requesters. Taking a deep breath, Jasmine answered, We do. But the guild isn't all-knowing, and we're restricted to our current resources. It wouldn't be possible to investigate everything, which is why we leverage data analysis to spot irregularities. There are other security measures we put into place to mitigate interaction with people with ill intentions. Jasmine frowned at the idea of people being put into harm's way. After listening to what Jasmine had said, Claire could understand the predicament the guild was under. Though she was inside the simulation, it was likely that Star and Moon wanted to insert a certain level of realism. It could even be possible when people leave the protective nature of the fort, getting caught up with malicious activities outside. Turning to Darlena, what happens if people from outside the simulation get partied up with an adventurer that has bad intent? Claire was curious whether there were safety measures put into place. Waving a hand at the surroundings, Darlena said, since this is a training simulation to get people ready for the outside world, we don't typically get involved in what occurs inside the simulation other than dealing with guild matters. If an adventurer was unfortunate enough to fall into a dangerous situation, then they would effectively be on their own. Seeing that Claire was going to retort, Darlena raised a hand to stop the girl. Adventurers are able to die and come back, which means they're in no physical danger. They're also expected to put in the necessary effort to take care of their own safety. The guild offers plenty of resources and training to make sure that people are in a relatively safe environment. Each adventurer is expected to check in when they're on the job with the guild about their own situation and where they are. But what happens if they run into something that prevents them from checking in? Are they expected to end themselves to return back to the city? Claire was horrified to hear that they would effectively be on their own in the simulation with little to no safety net. Jasmine raised a hand as though to indicate she had something to contribute. Depending on the job, we have an expected check-in timetable. When an adventurer accepts a job, we remind them that checking in with the guild is required since if we don't hear them after a certain amount of time passes, then we put out a job to investigate the issue. The woman looked at the board behind them and scanned the papers. Not finding what she was looking for, Jasmine moved to another board. As Claire watched the woman try to find something, she thought back to what Darlena said about adventurers being expected to take care of themselves. 
it's probably a good idea to treat this place as not a simulation, but instead an actual place, where I could end up getting sold into slavery or some other horrible thing. If I can survive this place, then I'll have an even higher likelihood of surviving outside the fort. Having reached a conclusion, Claire wanted to meet with Hannah so they could talk about what they need to do in order to develop the necessary survival skills.